Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Blue here. I'm back with another video. I have a lot to talk to you about, so I do apologize if it's really quick. Um, but this video is going to be about a few different things. We're going to talk about stat priorities. Um, and one of the fun things is Druid is actually going to be quite fun to play because this is going to be the most friendly patch to be switching specs as of what I can tell so far, right? Um, and also, please stay tuned. At the end of the video, I will be talking about um, the future of Feral you know, how it may be um, compared to everybody else, as well as the Azerite traits you want to look out for. Um, so let's get into it. I don't want this video to be too long, but I did make you guys a Word document, so check it out. Um, so what this is, is this is going to be the Azerite traits, uh, not the Azerite traits, I'm sorry, <clears throat> uh, the stat priorities here. And um, Resto is here. Um, don't be confused too about that. I'll talk about that a little bit once we get down to Guardian. But here are um, your stats. These are what you should be looking for in dungeons. So you're gonna be like, hey, um, as a feral, should I be even running under rot? And be like, oh, what, what's uh, what's my BIS gear? Oh, there's not even under rot here. You're right. You don't need to be running under rot as a feral. Um, if you want to be staying feral, if you want to be get your BIS gear, and you're gonna be pugging. That's what I did last 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 uh, last patch. Um, if you're gonna be pugging, especially. Then don't be, you know, be joining something for certain gears. Be like, hey, I want to be pugging. I want to get my legs because it's got so, such stats. I'm a feral. I want to get my weapon because my weapon is so strong for feral, right? That's uh, a good stat. It's a good damage. Where do I get my weapon? Oh, okay, and in King's Rest. All right, I got to run King's Rest, right? Um, so check it out, you guys. Um, you do need to remember, so Feral is actually a Mastery Crit. This is your main stat. Um, Resto, not so much. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so Boomy, when we write down here, Boomy is actually haste uh, mastery um, what you guys do need to keep in mind is uh, these stat priorities can change uh, especially because of um, the second azurite traits um, that with uh, involved in the azurite gear you know having that second one it can change your stat priorities especially for fair i will be talking that in a little bit um, bit on but it can change your stat priorities so take that into mind and just do what i did and go through the dungeon journal and say okay let's look at the back now that my stat priorities have changed you know go through and do that um, if they're just changing a little bit each time you're switching items that's not like a massive change right so maybe don't make an entire thing about that. Uh, maybe just fill in gear as you go. Um, but here's your boomy gear. I didn't include trinkets with the boomy gear because as I was looking at Blood Mount, the trinkets are kind of all over the place. And um, a lot of the best trinkets aren't even from Dungeon Drops. So this one, um, you boomkins, you're, you know, if you understand boomkin enough, you can check out this on your own. Um, now for Guardian, you guys are Mastery Verse. Now... I'm not the best Resto. I enjoy playing Resto. I feel like I do Resto really well, actually. Um, my understanding of Resto is really good. But my raid understanding of Resto is not so good, okay? I don't know if Resto um, and raid is the same pri stat priorities. If you were doing Mythic Plus as a Resto, run Master Reverse, you would do extremely well. Um, if you're not aware of what Resto is, Resto with Mastery, um, Mastery for Resto, I mean, uh, mastery says whenever you have additional hots on your um, your target healing over time effects so your regrowth all your other stuff that does a hot um, those spells that are on there will start buffing each other they'll start getting stronger and stronger the more you have on them the stronger it is right so it's just like oh snap so like you can make somebody invincible just put all your hots up there and they're going to be very difficult to heal um, so now why do you run versatility it kind of like buffs what your mastery does already it just makes those those, um, those spells that are buffing each other each a little bit stronger, right? Um, so very, very good. It also reduces the damage you take, which is very cool. Um, so here's these. Um, the trinkets or the weapon, just make, just make sure you understand that the weapon is a lot different from your guardian weapon. Um, so weapon resto versus rep, weapon guardian. Don't go to Waycrest looking for your, guard, your uh, resto weapon. And same as with trinkets, like I said, I'm not the best with resto. I actually don't have very good resto trinkets. I just got what I need. And um, but a tall Dazar resto trinket looks really good. It's same with Waycrest. Um, so that's it, you guys. Just do remember, um, do sim yourself in the stat changes. If there are going to be stat changes, you know, go ahead. Don't probably don't follow this um, exactly, but you can make your own list. But here, I'm going to have this up. I'll save. I'll put the link in the descriptions below so you can check it out. Uh, maybe look through this. Um, but if you are, just so you make sure, if you are running. Um, 
other stuff and you'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm Feral, but I'm running Underwatch. Just be like, okay, well, what's good for Underwatch? Okay, I got some rings from Boomkin or I got some other stuff, right? So you'd be like, oh, maybe I'll switch my spec to Boomkin when I'm in Underwatch because there's nothing I need in here, right? Uh, maybe a trinket or something. You can kind of help out your other specs. And uh, that's what I'm going to go over. I'm not sure if I said it or not, but this patch will be the best to change because mastery is so important for every single spec. So important. It's like the main for Guardian, main for Resto, and it is actually very very strong now for uh, for Boomkin. You know, it's going to be haste mastery from Boomkin. I think until you reach a certain haste cap, and then you can actually receive a certain haste cap, and then actually mastery is um, higher. So it's just like you can be fully decked out with mastery crit gear, so you're feral, and then you can actually be a decent guardian. You could be a really decent um, resto. Oh, and I didn't include this. Um, the reason I did resto is in um, feral, because I believe resto, I believe in raid, I'm not sure, um, but Resto, I believe in Raid, Ma uh, Mastery is still important, although in Raid, like, if you have 20 people, you know, you're not actually going to be buffing different people with more, um, with more um, hots, you're not going to be hotting a crap ton of hots on one person, right, except for the tank, um, so Mastery might not be as important, and maybe Crit would be more important, so just like a whole bunch of, like, hots of random people where Crit would come more into effect, so I didn't include that, um, but if you're a Resto, leave a comment and, and down below um, so you can help us out, let us know what's uh, the stat priority for raid resto all righty let's get into it i'm really excited you guys i will be switching when the new um trolls and our trolls are available i'm going to be missing my war stomp but i'm very excited for uh, especially for guardian the heal the heal seems super strong as well as the damage increases um for those uh Zandwari trolls so um check those out you guys if you haven't already i do not know the release i'm not keeping up to date with uh, wowhead anymore about the releases you know, they should have came out a long time ago, so let's just not talk about that. Um, but anyways, I, I do want to talk about, so let's talk about Feral. I'm excited for Feral, you guys. I've been looking through just today. I haven't actually checked them out um, recently, but today I checked them out. And I'm really excited about the Azerite traits. If you're not aware, the Azerite traits, you're going to be getting two Azerite traits, right? Um, so that means your first week, just get any gear. We're going to be talking about BIS Azerite traits. Just get anything make sure you switch your gear with one azurite traits for two that's going to be the huge dps increase right there all right um something else that has changed is last patch feral was really really hard to get your good azurite traits a lot of that is because in wildir a lot of the uh, the feral azurite traits were at the end of the raid and you're like this is actually really difficult unless you're in a really good guild you weren't even getting there um I tried pugging a raid yesterday, and it's like, dude, people are still only clearing two bosses, you know. So it was pretty difficult to get the to get the good gear right. Um, but what I am really excited about, you guys, is I don't want to give you some false information, uh, because I'm not, I don't, I don't know all the other classes. I don't know how their Azerite traits are going to help them scale. But I will tell you, Ferals is is really strong. We're going to be doing really well compared to everybody else. I'm not sure. Okay. But in Mythic Pluses, oh my gosh, we are going to be so nuts, you guys. And you will not believe me when I say this. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. Feral AoE is nuts. And I'm talking about just changing Primal Wrath. I'm not talking about specking anything else. Maybe Savage Roar to help increase your AoE. That is possible. You can do that. But your Primal Wrath, oh my goodness, it is so nuts. I am keeping up with the highest, like, you may think like a Blood DK, a Boomkin. I am out AoEing them consistently without, like, without, okay, and that is, okay, and let's just talk about this. I'm like, it's it's nuts. Our AoE is going to be crazy. So let's go into the raid and let's check it out. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, let's talk about BIS gear. First one, headgear. Do not buy any headgear. Do not use any of your your tokens or whatever to buy headgear the best headgear is off the first boss take that this is the best thing for us first boss you know it's going to be the easiest thing to get so do not worry about your headgear next patch at all if it does if it's not dropping whatever it will find it will drop eventually for you do not waste anything on this headgear but make sure you get it so let's look at this headgear so what does this headgear provide and why am i so excited about feral mythic plus Right here, Wild Flesh Running is coming back, and it is nuts. Wild Flesh Running deals almost 2k additional damage, right? What does this mean? Thrash is going to be in our single target, ro single target rotation always, you know? 
for those of you um, that are not aware of thrash single target rotation, it's fun. Okay, it gives you a little bit more um, to look into if you're worried about keeping up with some a few or uh, another dot, whatever. Um, I do have the video on my uh, UI. You can check it out. Um, download the UI. It makes it very easy to keep up your dots. Wild flush training. I'm so excited for this. This is going to make you so strong. This may also change your stat priority, right? Wild flesh rending getting buffed. Uh, if you have three wild flesh rending, that's six. It's almost 6K per wild flesh rending or per, per <laughs> I'm so sorry, per, per shred, right? And shred is our filler. We shred so much. This is going to, this is sick. This might even bring back the incarnation build. Um, cross your fingers. That's a really fun build. It may bring it back. Who knows? I mean, it does have to do with um, uh, with uh, reducing, um, with not having that 5% increased buff to our for our bite. Who knows? That is very strong. Um, but but there it is right there. All right, so let's keep talking about this. So, Wild Flush Running, if you can find these, grab them. Very important. Now, Single Target Buff, Jungle's Fury, very good. This also increases our crit. Hey, crit and uh, Wild Flush Running very strong together you will not find any better it depends check your blood mount whatever when it comes out you will not find any stronger than these two together single target very very strong actually single target and aoe this is why your mythic plus is gonna be nuts okay now let's talk about something this this is interesting treacherous covenant this is a stat very good increases um all of your stats or your primary stat by a certain amount when you're above 50 percent when you are when you are you take 15% while below 20%, right? Ooh, this is this is um, this is scary. Um, so when you're really low, you're gonna fall very fast. Um, so it's I'm really interested to see um, what the websites say about this with the Azurite when they actually check your Azurite and see how they're actually doing to see how this one is. Um, it, it looks strong, um, but it you know it comes with comes with that uh, instant death possibly um, but you know even if it is very strong these right here are amazing okay so we're not gonna be talking about our headgear anymore that's that let's go through let me make sure I got my stuff right here okay shoulders let's look at shoulders third boss these are our shoulders right um, so we do see um, tigles or t jungle fury again sorry um, and as well as this guy once more we see him I think he's going to be strong. I'm thinking he's going to be strong single target. So this would be our single target. If not, we still have this one. Um, gussing lacerations. Your rip um, gives you a chance to get a combo point. This is okay. This is very strong. This would be very good in um, Mythic Pluses, especially because the poles are going to be much bigger. And you're going to be just ripping everything um, with the talents changes, you know, for the Mythic Plus talent builds. So this one will be very, very good. Um... Very good. All right. Um, so you may want to see that for your Mythic Plus. This one might be the um, the single target build. As you can see in here, there is no wild flush running, right? So there's also an option. I'm not sure how this will do single target. Um, so we do have another option. Let's check out the ninth boss for our shoulders. All right. Here we go. The wild flush running. And now we have another option here that I do not know, right? We don't know how these stats are going to perform, but I'm betting that this one's going to be decent right i think this one will actually be better um so let's look at this seductive power so your spells and abilities have a chance to conjure some random person a visage so a little ghost beckoning you closer if you approach this person you gain 76 to all stats for five minutes not bad stacking up to five times if you fail to heed his call lose one stack right so as long as we're in constant, you know, Mythic Plus, I'm thinking along Mythic Plus or even bosses, as long as we're constantly damaging the boss, you know, we are going to be getting these stacks. Now, what I don't know, because this is very good, what I don't know is how far is this dude? Is this dude, like, really far? Am I going to have to, like, blow a blow a, um, a cooldown of running, the dash, or the, you know, whatever, just to get to him? That's the question right here. Feral, though, boss fights, you know, Feral, depending on the boss fight, if you need to be moving or whatever, if it's just straight damaging, you know, there are times you're just straight damaging. You know, you can do this. You can tie this into your kit. You're like, oh, you know, I'm actually like, I'm starved, energy starved right now. Let me go pick up my stats and come back. 
that's not bad. You know, that's that's pretty good. You can still do it. You got your bleeds on the target. Your damage is still fine. You're going to be getting more damage coming back. Not bad. Okay. Uh, Mythic Plus, you know, this is pretty going to be, be pretty good. Mythic Plus, you know, um, since we do have a long range, depending on how far he is, you could probably still do damage to something. But you, what if what if this guy is so far away that he's in the next pack and you can't grab it? Uh, you know, it, it depends on how well this does. Um, so that's that. So now let's check out chest, fifth boss. Alrighty here, chest, here we go again. So this one we have an option, Mythic Plus, great Mythic Plus. If you have two of these especially, very good. Um, it may change though, depending on, um, yeah, anyways, this I would just say this is great. Here, this one would be more of a single target ability, still not that strong though. Combo point generating abilities deal an additional damage, um, a, a certain amount, and reduce the cooldown of Berserk by 0.3 seconds. Not that great, right? This isn't that great. There are probably better options. And again, look, we have this guy right here um, to increase our stats again. Or Wild Flush Running. I would go Wild Flush Running, so you don't got to mess around with this, you know. Um, and plus, we don't know how this will stack. It does seem very good. I don't know how well it stacks. But we have our Wild Flush Running right here. So very, very good. Now we still have one other option. Uh, wait, wait, is that, th was that th right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, here we go. This one is another chest. Okay, we have our Jungle's Fury, which is great. We do not see the Wild Flush running, but now we have Jungle's Fury and this one. Okay, single target. We don't know how this will perform, but it does seem like it's going to be pretty good. Okay, so there's definitely some options. Um, what you should take from this, head. Do not mess around with your head. Get the head from the raid. Very, very good. Now, you may have to purchase something else okay you may have to purchase something else um but the stats that we're going to be looking for when you do purchase is going to be probably around here wild flush running very good aoe single target as well as jungle sphere single target very good okay um so if you're looking for single target raids to perform the best this is the best maybe look for other gear if you're going to purchase other gears with this involved but do not purchase any headgear okay you guys all righty but that's it. You guys didn't want to make this video too long. Um, it's been a while. I'm, I'm really enjoying to be able to make new videos, to have content out there, to do Mythic Pluses again. I remember when I was doing it, I was like, oh, man, another dungeon. I was farming it like crazy. But I am excited to do that again. I'm excited to get some upgrades, something from it, um, instead of now where it's just like I got nothing to do, right? But that's it, you guys. If you have any comments, please leave a comment below. If uh, there's some misinformation, leave a comment. Get us well informed. But that's it, everyone. Take it easy. Bye.